Today is August 8th, and we're going to do a visual inspection inside the cylinders. Yeah, let's get to it. these coils out of the way. Uh, see this one here is the only one with a locking clip still in it. So we'll pull back on that. And we'll work these off. All the fasteners are missing somewhere. Maybe we'll find them, maybe we won't. This is, I'm picking up where someone else left off kind of mess. Uh, so we're going to take all the coils out. What we're doing at the moment is we're going to attempt to determine whether or not this engine is worth saving. It miserably failed a compression test. So we're going to go have a visual inspection inside the cylinders uh, both straight down and at 90 degree and see what uh, the valves and the cylinder linings are looking like I gotta go grab some tools here now, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crack loose all of the spark plugs probably only need one but I'm gonna use two anyways Make sure you use a swivel, that way there, if you have a stubborn one and you break it loose, you don't break the ceramic. And all I'm going to do right now is just crack these loose. They're brand new plugs, recently installed. So, everything's in good shape. As far as the spark plug holes are concerned. And now, yes, I'm using a power tool to spin spark plugs back up and out. Now, this is an impact driver. It never once clicked or pulsed so, or hammered. So they're all loose. Now, I'm going to use one of the coil packs just to retrieve the spark plugs because I don't have have anything else here to do it with. These are all the spark plugs, brand new, haven't been even run yet. Now being that uh, our inspection cover is broken, it's already accessible. There is a mark in here up behind this panel that a little arrow pointing towards the camshaft. We're going to rotate the engine until the camshaft notch, there's a little mark in it, lines up with that so we know we're at top dead center. We're going to try to make sure we're top dead center compression stroke on this cylinder and then we're going to advance it the bottom stroke and go in and look at the valves. Now, spark plugs are all out. The engine's going to turn nice and easy. We've already verified that, so we're going to cheat and do an awfully horrible thing, and we're going to rotate the engine by the camshaft, assuming I can get the wrench onto it. And we're going to bring it up until we see that mark. All right, timing tensioner is in there jiggling around like crazy. I believe I 
might, the notch is right in here somewhere because it looks a little cleaner than the rest, but I don't see it yet, so we're gonna keep going. We know we're, we're up at top dead center. We're gonna go see if we're in uh, intake or exhaust or compression. Hmm. Question is, if I or a little after, I think a little bit after. So I'm gonna cheat and come backwards just a hair if I can. Yeah. Right about there should be good, I guess. Pretty close. You see the mark? No, you still can't see the mark. You see the mark now? Oh, there it is. There we go. I think that's pretty close to lined up, at least from your perspective. Close enough for what I'm doing. So now we'll get the uh, orientation of the camera right. the right one all right there we are so now I've got the cable very lightly clamped in place here to hold this so that you guys can see what I'm doing we'll uh, insert this into the, the bottom corner of the screen down here for you so we're gonna go in looking first off we're gonna be looking right at the exhaust valves We have an open exhaust valve on both sides. So now we're going to turn around and we're going to look at the intake side. There's a direct injection injector, the intake valves. This is a 20, uh, 16 valve engine. I was expecting 20 valve. Okay. Cylinder wall. That looks a little scuffed. But, uh, let's get that cylinder down to the bottom. exploration down in here it's piston carbon all over it clean spot which that has me a little concerned okay let's get over to the side view and let's see what we got ooh cross hatch A, uh, appears to be a burn mark. That's a definite hot spot. That one really has me concerned right there.
Oh, there's another one. So maybe this thing was overheated. Run without coolant. Hmm. Now I gotta record this stuff, so let me figure out how to turn on record. I think that did it right there. Yep. Okay, so we're down inside cylinder one. Looking around, there's heavy scratches up the top of the bore. Uh, severe hot spots. I do not like the looks of that stuff right there at all. Alright, we're going to go down into cylinder number two. Valve intake. There's pistons up at top dead center. We're gonna go over to cylinder number three. A little carbon inside the cylinder. This cylinder is also up at top dead center. Or pretty close to it. Those valves don't look, something right there doesn't look right. Okay, well, we're going to cylinder number four. Ooh, There's a lot of carbon right there. Burning right there. These valves are open and Let's get those valves closed. I want to see if these things are bent or not. Got the valves closed in the compression stroke. Uh, we're gonna rotate this forward. You see the piston drop down, and the valve starting to open. they're closed and we can see that the one on the back that's an intake valve actually that looks like that slightly tweaked now let's see what we can find on the other side Uh, 
can't say for certain if that valve looks like it's tweaked or not. Let's go back into cylinder three. See, those exactly look like they're the same height, but could be perspective because I'm at a strange angle. The top of that cylinder is a little ugly, but where the ring land rings end, it looks fairly decent. So, I think we just probably need a a little bit of a valve job on this and see if we can get these valves closed. Look like they're closing okay. Cylinder two. Yeah, that valve's not sealing. Look at all the carbon on the on the valve seat. That's not sealing at all. So there's all the evidence we need right there. Cylinder number two leaking right through the exhaust valves. Well, unfortunately for the owner. The cylinder head's going to have to come off, and uh, we're going to have to replace some valves, and from the looks of the oily deposits back there, probably even some guides.
have a feeling that the next time you guys see this car, it's probably going to be me removing the cylinder head on it. And we're going to be probably doing a valve job, sending it out to the machine shop, and then reassembling this. So if you guys thought this one was interesting, entertaining in any way, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Uh, still working on the Hummer. That's uh. You guys, we, we, we've been around a few times already. We had some issues with the head, but that'll all be coming up in the videos. So stay tuned, subscribe, we'll catch you on the next one. And don't forget, if you've got no more excuses, pick up those wrenches. Just one of many of the videos you might be getting to see on this Audi.